So honestly, I just felt like I needed a pig. I needed to get a token pig. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Beth and I am still shopping. Now, last week you saw me go to the church bazaar and it's the same day and I've now driven all the way to Wharton to an estate sale warehouse clean out clearance something like that. Uh, my friends at Bohemian Rhapsody, they have estate sales and they have a little warehouse and they're trying to liquidate some of their inventory at the warehouse. So I've driven over here today to see what they have. Now let me show you what I see through the window. So it looks like they have a great deal of stuff out there to look at. So I'm going to so go ahead in and see if I can find anything that I can place in one of my two vintage spaces or have for a live sale or maybe just use for myself. So come on y'all, let's go thrifting. There's a lot to look at, so we're going to just start somewhere. These are cool. These are Batman McDonald's glasses. Oh, Dolores, look at this one. You had me at meow. This little pig. It reminds me of um, Cindy. She, Mimi's Treasure Cottage, she just got a whole bunch of pigs. They're so stinking cute. The sun is very bright today, but I do like this little, I think this is, looks Mexican painted. Nope, this is China, but it's very Mexico painted. And when I was looking for some antlers, I could not find them anywhere. I do like the, the big horseshoes. Those are cool. Oh, here's some little hand painted art. That's cool. And a bee basket. The bee basket's fun. Safety pin basket. That's fun. Okay, here is some of the, look at that. That is some of the plastic. I actually have this one. Have this one but that's like the whole set but look at these little butterflies they're asking ten dollars for this whole set there's two mirrors with the sconces I have this one already and then this one that's a good little set look at the tents. I look at the little box I like that little box oh I have one of these I have one of these in my Valentine's Day stuff. I have no business getting any of these because, but I like that for the 4th of July. Wouldn't that be cool? That's something to think about. Look at the pigs. They are so stinking cute. It is like a whole pigapalooza. It's a pigapalooza. That's too cute. Look at all those pigs. All right, so these pigs are super cute. They're made in the Philippines, but it's a pig corn. My gosh, so cute. I don't know, I might have to have those. But wait, there's more pigs. Birthday pigs, there's a ton of pigs. Oh my gosh. Uh, clown alert, but here we go. Clown alert. I'm not pushing the button. I'm not pushing. There is more pigs. These are like beanie baby pigs. And there's even a kitchen timer pig. Oh my gosh. I don't think it works though. No, it doesn't look like it works. Y'all, who has this many pigs? Oh, I love the little pig uh, creamer. Now I have cow creamers, but I don't have pig creamers. Oh, this one's like a little blocked pig. Oh my gosh, where did we get all these pigs? This is just too much. Uh, this pig, look, that is super cute. 
he's stinking cute. That's different with the orange. These are little, some type of little elf or something. They've even got plush pigs. And look at all the clowns. Clown alert. Some more salt pepper shakers. These are farmer pigs. And then we've got the cows. Part of a set. More pigs over here. Oh, what's this one? Niagara Falls. I did not look on the other table yet. There's a little cat from Avon. I did find this little cookie cutter. I'm gonna get this for myself. Holiday baking cups. I wonder if they have the Santa in the inside. I think they just have, no, they don't have the Santa on the inside. But here's a Santa. There's a Santa. This box of birthday candles is cute. I like that. It's the little stuff that I like. I don't know why. But I don't want the candles to melt. Where are these tongue depressors? More pigs. More pigs. That's a cute little pig. Look at his little face. Football pigs. And they got all kind of pigs. Pigs and clowns, pigs and clowns. That's what this is all about. Oh, she's cute. It's a big pig. Ooh, I like these. These are the Halloween ones. I don't see a date on those though. Okay, y'all, this is even a pig shell art. That's hysterical. We've seen all the pigs we can see today. What is this? Oklahoma Jigger. Oh, that's a big old shot glass. Good night. All right, let's go down on this side. Oh, these are pretty. It doesn't have the well, this one has the mirror. This one has the mirror, but it's got some damage to it. There is one of the little angels. I do like the angel, so I'll probably get the angel. And what else? I don't know about this beaded basket thing. That's plastic. I'm sure it was a thing, but... They have a lot of mugs. I just haven't looked at all the mugs yet. Got some art. She said they've been busy and they've had a really good deal, so that's good. Mother's Day. Look at all of the jewelry. Oh my gosh. No one, I don't need any jewelry. That's cute. Oh, there's a little girl.
I had to come by. <laughs> oh, I like the little ice cream. I need to ask if, I need to ask if these, they're not marked, but I don't know if they are still $1. There's a couple of them that I like down here, and they are girly as well. See, I like these because that would be great for maybe like just a little gift, like a get well gift or something like that. Like this one says speedy recovery. Isn't that pretty? And I like the one that's the Lord's Prayer back there as well. So, I don't know. I really like these. Okay, I'm coming back over here for clown alert. I know I should do it before, but literally it is a whole... This one is $10, so I'm going to leave that one. But look how cute. I mean, I personally think these are really cute. But some people would not think that they were cute at all. These pigs are super cute. I like these with the hair. Okay, y'all, so I filled up my bag. I filled up my bag, and they only charged me $15 for all the goodies that I got. Now, I'm out in the country, and I'm on the way to my own shop, um, shopping till I get to my shop. And um, when I get home, I will do the haul for this video and let you see what I got because I think I got a pretty good deal for $15. And again, shout out to my friends at Bohemian Rhapsody for um, putting on this warehouse clearance. They had a lot of stuff, y'all. And they said that they had already sold a lot of stuff. So stay tuned because guess what? The haul is next. Okay, y'all, so it is the next day, and um, I just got finished with my live jewelry haul and chat with Dolo, so if you missed that, I will link that in the iCard and in the description below, and um, I am ready to take care of my bag and show you all the goodies that I got at the estate sale company's kind of uh, clean out. All right, so first, they gave me a list for the upcoming sale next time. Uh, there's a no particular order, but she gave me this bag. Um, so let me just see what is in it. I did get some candles, so I'm hoping that they are not melted. Let's just see. Um, I picked up the Halloween baking cups. Always need those. I picked up the... Oh, they're in pretty good condition. They didn't get melted. These are the girly candles that are the turkeys. And I love that iridescent paint on there. I picked those up. I, my total spend was like $15. I think I said that in the video. Um, I picked up this copper police officer. Now there is a match to this that is a Frosty. So it goes with Frosty the Snowman. Um, but I don't Right now, I don't think I have it. I'll have to look. Um, but this is the copper press mold. I picked that up. And I don't know if you heard her say it in the video, but everything was a dollar unless it was marked. So, so far, each one of those things should have been a dollar. Um, then I got some bags of some plastic Christmas. And this is really like for... These are marked 25 cents each, but this is just like for assemblages because believe it or not, I'm gonna make an assemblage, y'all. One of these live long days, I am going to make it. I don't, we'll find out in a minute if um, she charged me for these because I really don't know. The, I got two bags um, and they were 25 cents each. And this one is just the hollies and berries. But I thought that would be great for a little assemblage. And I'll show you why in a sec. All right. They so nice. They wrapped it for me. I did pick up, I think, two of these. And they were $3 each. Um, this is the Lord's Prayer. Um, and it has the little flowers on there. It had a 750 somewhere sticker on it. Um, but this one is Yukago, Japan. 
and uh, it also could be a wall pocket. And this one has a double space. Um, it is not, it's joined in the center, so it's just double here, I guess, to help with the flowers standing up. But I thought this was absolutely beautiful, and um, I have a lot of religious things in the spare bedroom. Sorry for the shaking, new tripod, new tripod. All right, here is another Lord's Prayer. This one is a little bit different, um, and it has a single and this one is, it says Rubens. It is also Japan. It's a Rubens original. This one still has some foam in there that I need to get out. But I thought these were really pretty. And um, I like them for actual gift giving. Like maybe put some faux flowers or some real flowers down in there. Um, this one is on a little bit thicker piece and it is a tabletop. It is not a wall pocket. Whereas this one is a wall pocket. These were marked $3 each. So there is six of the um, $15 right there. But wait, there's more. Oh, this thing is shaking. Sorry, y'all. I got one more that is thicker and it's a wall pocket. And this one is the Lord's Prayer, but this has the play, praying hands. Um, it is thicker like this one, right? Um, it's a single, and it also has the ability to be hung. So I thought this was the best of both worlds. Now this one does have, I believe, some crazing. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. You can see the crazing in that one. This one is marked, Napco. This one is marked Napco right there. So that is uh, $9 of the $15 that I spent right there. Um, then I picked up this guy because um, he is a bendy and he's a little elf. Now he is marked on his neck Japan, D-A-I Japan. So he is older um, he even has a stiffy little hat there. Now, this one was marked $3 as well. It's a little dirty right here, but I may be able to clean that up. Otherwise, he's in great condition. So, I did pick him up. He's a cutie. I just thought he was cute. I wish they had had another one, but they didn't. So, that's 12 They were each marked $3. Um, and then, y'all, it was a pig palooza. Did y'all see all those pigs? For real. So honestly, I just felt like I needed a pig. I needed to get a token pig. And what better way than to get a piggy bank? This one was in the best shape and it did have its stopper. I do not see any make or marker or anything on there. I don't even know that it's really old, but I thought it was super cute and I just had to have a token pig. I just thought it was darling. I don't know what he's eating or if he's just going like this, but I love him for a piggy bank. So I think they charged me a dollar for that one. That's all that was in this bag. I'm gonna go kind of quickly because we've already seen the shop along. I didn't want the video to be too, too long. And then, yes I did, yes I did. I got the safety pin basket. But y'all, one, I've never seen one this color. I love these little beads on here, and it's in perfect condition. It's got a 2012 tag on it, but y'all, with some fall foliage, maybe a few um, pumpkin picks, and maybe some um, pheasant feathers in that, y'all, wouldn't that be cute? I love these colors. This is really good. And again, I've never seen one with all of these colors, the fall colors. Usually I see them in clear, um, but I had to pick this up and I'm not sure. We'll have to find out at the end if they charged me $1 for that. All right, let's see. Oh, I broke down. I got one. Oh, but it's got stuff in it. I did get a tin. Now, I got this tin for the red, white, and blue and the patriotic photos on it because I think that it would make a wonderful um, risers. However, it also has an oatmeal cookie recipe. 
um, and it makes about five dozen. So we might even try this out. It is a Quaker's Oats. Um, it does not have a barcode on it. It says 1983. Now this one was marked $2, but I don't, again, I don't know how much she charged. All right, inside, let me show you what I got. I got a metal spice um, container full of mustard seeds. I like this for two reasons. This could be an assemblage, and I love the biblical reference to the mustard seed, so I thought those would be fun. I also got the Coleman's mustard. Now, there is a ton of mustard in here, um, but it just gives it some weight. I love the colors on this as well, even on the top. So again, great for an assemblage. And then I did get the ground cinnamon because again for an assemblage. Now this one has a barcode on it, this one has a barcode on it, and this one has a barcode. I'll have to just kind of look to see. Um, they're not very old, but I just like the coloring on there. And y'all, I never find these. I also did pick up another safety pin art, and that is the little angel. Um, somebody has a Christmas tree hanger on her she could even be a tree topper. Now I've had several of these and they sell very, very well for me. So I went ahead and picked that one up. And the last thing inside the tin, oh yeah. I got another girly candle and it is a choir girl. And it is marked girly on the bottom. So I got three girly candles, um, two of the turkeys and one of the choir girls. Um, and they made it home, even though I left them in the car for two hours. <laughs> I forgot they were in there. I just forgot. Here's the inside of the Quaker Oats tin. So again, I just picked that one up because I want to use it for a riser during the 4th of July. And I think I just got one other thing. Yep, the only other thing that's in my bag is I got a Linux piece. And it's the Rose Bud Vase but it's in excellent condition. It is marked um, Linux on the bottom right here. I don't know what all these tags are for, but um, it is marked Linux on the bottom and I thought that that was really beautiful. It's a bigger size bud vase. I like the little ones that they make like this, um, but I don't think I've ever had a Linux one. So let's see how I did. They charged me $15 for everything it was supposed to be a dollar for everything that was not marked. So these were marked three each. So there's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 2450 is what um, they should have charged me. And they charged me 15. So she did, oh, 2550. I forgot my pig. So um, that's pretty good. Um, I don't even know what that makes it out price per item, but I will count it all up and put the math right here below. I love going to the Bohemian Rhapsody estate sales and when they put it out that they were gonna have a little clearance, I was like, I am there. Good thing I had to go to my shop anyway. Speaking of my shop, hang on tight to next week. Um, next week's video is going to be at my shop. It's kind of a shop my shelves. Um, I was pulling a bunch of items for some live sales that I had um, and I put some items back out, some newer things back out to fill some spots. But, but guess what? I still have a lot of space so I need to get some stuff back to this booth. But I also shopped around for just a moment and took you in there as well. So don't forget to ring that notification bell to all so you will not miss a video upload or a live event. And don't forget to subscribe if you are not already part of my YouTube family. I'd love for you to come along the super fun journey with me and my friends. Um, overall, I think I did really well. I'm not sure what my favorite might be. I don't know. I'm really digging this basket, but probably... Um, my favorite, oh, I don't know, y'all, because I don't ever find these, so I was pretty stoked to get those, um, and the vintage doll, now, I've never seen one that's orange, 
Um, so I thought that was pretty cool, but I really like the Lord's Prayers planters as well. So leave me a comment below and let me know which item that I did pick up was your favorite from this haul. Thanks so much for watching y'all and until next time, y'all stay pretty and be sweet. Bye-bye.